PS Plus offers you a chance to be in a movie. Watch Dog 2 actually shows you dogs in their new trailer. Voice actor loses their voice. Bethesda cuts off the media. And No Man's Sky has more mistakes than we thought. All that and more in today's last week's gaming news. Roll the intro. First up in the news, PlayStation Blog announced last week that Everybody's Gone to the Rapture and The Deadly Towers of Monster were the next free games for PS Plus in November. The PlayStation Blog didn't mention if the games were going to be released on November 1st or November 8th. I personally played Everyone's Gone to the Rapture and really enjoyed the art style and the story. The game is from developer's Chinese room, and the game is set in a small deserted English town where players search for clues to find what happened to the inhabitants. The second game, Deadly Tower of Monster, drops the player into a cheesy 80s sci-fi flick that throws pretty much everything but the kitchen sink at them. And like every month, the comment section of the announcement is filled with people complaining about the selection of the game and how they will change console. And of course, they can easily be found next month nagging about the exact same thing. Looking good! Looking good! Ubisoft released a new trailer last week for Watch Dogs 2. It shows the vast landscape of San Francisco, including what to see and do. Coming out in the middle of November, Watch Dogs 2 will offer players a different look into Watch Dogs universe and the corrupt tech company that run it. Since you're part of the hacker group named DeadSec, your job will probably consist of taking down the man and making some extra money on the side. Thus the perpetual circle of life continues. Looking good! Looking good! On Friday, SAG AFTRA, short for let, let me let me don't have any glasses there, but short for the Screen Actors Guild American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, which really rolls off the tongue now, doesn't it? Went on strike after months of negotiating with big company. Now, just to clarify, by months, I mean 19 to be exact. The group was negotiating for safer work conditions and reasonable wage, just to name a few. Now, of course, here at last week's Gaming News, hopes that this work conflict gets resolved very soon. But personally, I would like to offer my service to these companies. I can do an Englishman. Hello, governor, would you like some TM crumpets? Or I can also do a nice southern accent. Now, you listen right here now, Billy Bob. You go get me my gun right now, you hear? Last week's gaming news would like to apologize for the offensive nature of the previous lines. Looking good, looking good. In a blog post released earlier last week, Bethesda announced that they will only be sending review copies one day before the release of a game. In the blog post, they stated that we want everyone, including those in the media, to experience our game at the same time. Of course, the media let their thought known in multiple podcasts and articles throughout the following days, showing their displeasure with this decision. From this point forward, articles and posts like the one Bethesda did will be known as the No Man's Sky Effect. Looking good! Looking good! In related No Man's Sky news, our weird news of the week comes from the Twitter page of Hello Games. In a tweet that was taken down almost immediately, read as follows. No Man's Sky was a mistake. This also led to the account to be set to private for a little while. Then, multiple news outlets reported receiving emails from Sean Murray stating that the tweet is from me, but somebody from the team took it down. We have not been coping well. After all that, Sean Murray awoke his Twitter page, which last week was from August 18, and tried to fix the situation in three tweets. Murray had this to say. Server hack, we're binging Mr. Robot episode as quickly as we can looking for answer. Episode 5 is a cracker. If anything was a mistake, it was using LinkedIn without 2FA. And, at Hello Games, are you still hacked and stuff? Later in the day, the Hello Game Twitter account came back online and had this to say. At No Man's Sky, 100% not hack anymore, obviously, these emails and that tweet were fake. Back to work. Forbes later reported that this tweet was sent from a not-so-happy employee and that this situation would be internally remedied. Who knows what's true about this situation, but here's hoping that Hello Games will fix this situation faster than they have No Man's Sky. Looking good! Looking good! Here's a new segment I would like to call Dunce of the Week game, the GameStop slash EB Games of the UK, angered a lot of people last week, announcing that you can book a demonstration for the PlayStation VR for a small fee. Prices range from £5 for 10 minutes or 15 for 30 minutes. At this moment, PlayStation has not made any statement concerning the situation, but Twitter was quick to respond, offering the statement, scummy, really scummy, also pretty sure it's in a breach of software EULA. Is this a joke? I'll buy mine from a retailer who doesn't charge. There are plenty of them. This is exploitive. Game tried to remedy the situation explain that if you buy the PSVR, you will be reimbursed the full demo cost, if you buy it after the demo. But let's be honest here, they're still getting your money anyway. Looking good! Looking good! Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this edition of last week's gaming news. I really enjoyed doing this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed as much as I like doing them. It's really a uh, it's really fun. I, I wait all week to do this. It's actually it's one of my favorite things to do during the week. Uh, if you like, of course, like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me everywhere, Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and right here, YouTube.com forward slash Me Time Gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And before I forget, next weekend, November 5th, I'm doing Extra Life. So basically, if you don't know what Extra Life is, it's an organization that raises money, and I will play video games tw for 24 hours from November 5th at 8 a.m. till November 6th, 8 a.m. 
so also there will be time saving so I'm actually going to be playing 25 hours so it's going to be a lot more complicated and hard <laughs> but yeah if you want if you want to come donate to from my page please visit extra-life.org slash participant slash me time gamer and yeah that's pretty much it thank you for watching this week's last week's gaming news and i will see you in the next video keep on keeping on